Hey guys, this is Rachel from Cypress Textiles and today we're going to make the Heather motif from the 2024 BB Cow. I'm going to start as always with a slip knot and three chains and then a slip stitch in the third chain from the hook to make my ring. You're welcome to do the center ring however you prefer. And then in that ring, I'm going to make a beginning double crochet, which is just going to be going straight into a single crochet with no chaining up and a chain one. And that's the first double crochet of the round. And I'm going to do 11 more double crochet all the way around to make 12 total, including the beginning one. All right. And I'm going to join with a slip stitch in the chain one of the, the beginning double crochet. All right, there's my slip stitch join and now in the next stitch I'm going to do another uh, beginning double crochet so single crochet chain one and then I'm going to do a chain one double crochet in the same stitch chain one and then I'm going to do double crochet chain one double crochet in the next stitch and chain one so see I've got a little V stitch here in this previous stitch here and okay so I backed that out so I have beginning double crochet chain one double crochet in the first stitch then chain one double crochet in the next stitch chain one and that's where I'm going to pick up in the next stitch I'm going to do double crochet chain one double crochet all right and then chain one double crochet in the next stitch chain one and then double crochet chain one double crochet in the next stitch and once I show you how the pattern looks you'll see what I'm doing here okay so I'm just going to show you here the, the little repeat I've got my beginning DC chain one DC and then chain one DC by itself chain one DC chain one DC on one stitch chain one DC by itself chain one DC, chain one DC on one stitch, and we're gonna go around just like that. So we're gonna have two in one, one, two in one, one, and two in one all the way around. Okay, so my round is complete. I've joined with the slip stitch in the beginning double crochet. And just in case you wanna check your count, I have 18 DC and 18 chain spaces. And so I'm going to slip stitch in this chain here. I'm gonna go directly into the chain and slip stitch. And I'm going to work into this next double crochet with a beginning 3DC cluster. So I'm just going to make a single crochet, chain one, and then I'm going to do a 2DC cluster. So yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop, draw the yarn through two loops on the hook, and then repeat that. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, draw the yarn through two loops on the hook, and now you have three loops. Go ahead and draw the yarn through all three loops, and that's your first 3DC cluster of the round chain two in the next stitch we're going to do a 3dc cluster so i'm going to do that same maneuver of a cluster and just make my first leg there and then i'm going to do two more just yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop and draw the yarn through two loops and i've done it three times so now i'm going to draw the yarn through all four loops there and i've got my 3dc cluster now i'll chain two and i'm just going to do chain two 3dc cluster in every stitch around until I get back to the beginning and then I'll join. Okay, so the round is complete and I joined with a slip stitch in the beginning 3DC cluster. And now for the next round, I'm gonna make a, a beginning DC in the next chain space. So just single crochet and chain one. And now this is a little tricky, but I'm gonna make a puff stitch around the beginning double crochet. And I have done this in a, a pattern in the VVCAL before, but um, just in case you missed it, just make your yarn over to make a puff stitch and you're gonna go under the beginning DC. Just try to keep every um, pass kind of around the beginning DC instead of stretching it out too much. So pull up a loop and then yarn over, tuck under your beginning DC, pull up a loop, try to keep it all kind of snug there. Yarn over, under the beginning DC and pull up a loop. And so that's the third pass of our puff stitch. We're just going to do three passes and then kind of hold all the loops so you can draw your yarn through all of them. And all the rest of the stitches won't be this difficult. It's just because we're on a beginning double crochet here. So if everything looks a little wonky right now, it's okay because once you join, everything's going to look fine. So your 
beginning DC is going to stick up there and it's just going to look better once you join everything together. So now I'm going to chain one and then double crochet in the next chain space. Okay, and now we're going to make a puff stitch around that double crochet. It's going to be a lot easier because you're not just hovering in the air with that uh, beginning DC. So just yarn over, tuck your hook under and pull up a loop and you're going around the double crochet, treating it like a chain space and making your puff stitch. All right, I'm gonna draw the yarn through all the loops and chain one. And that's what I'm gonna do all the way around. So in my next chain space, double crochet, and then make a puff stitch around the double crochet, treating it like a chain space. Okay, and chain one. All right, so here's how it looks so far. And like I said, once we join here, this is gonna look much better. Just keep the wraps so that they're around the beginning DC there. All right, so my round is complete and I'm about to join into the first uh, puff stitch and beginning DC here. So if you see this V that's on top of the puff stitch, that's where you're gonna join. So pick up both of those loops of that V like that and then make your slip stitch all right and now all of those wraps are secured from the puff stitch all right and here's how that round looks it's gonna look like it has some cupping but don't worry once it's all finished um, it's not gonna have the cupping anymore and for this next round we have a super simple single crochet chain space round so it's kind of a little bit of a reprieve this round is a little cumbersome but it does turn out pretty so into the next chain space, I'm gonna make a single crochet. Then chain three, and you're just going to single crochet, chain three, all the way around, just like this, making single crochet in the next chain space, and chain three. All right, super simple. Okay, the round's complete. I joined with a slip stitch in the first single crochet, and our next round is also single crochet and chain spaces. I'm gonna go into the next chain space with a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Okay, just like that. Making a little corner loop. And now I will chain three and single crochet in the next chain space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain space again, chain three, and in the next chain space, I'm gonna make my little corner. So single, chain three, single, all in the same chain space. Okay, there we go. So you can see each side is gonna have your corner and then three chain loops popping over and then your corner. And I'm gonna just keep going that way until I'm finished. Alrighty, so this is our second to last round and it's complete. I joined with the slip stitch in the first single crochet and now I'm just gonna make a single crochet round to finish the motif. So in this corner stitch, I'm gonna make three single crochet. And then in the next chain space as well, I'm gonna make three single crochet. All right, and then in the next stitch, I'm gonna make a single crochet. And I believe in the actual pattern, I have you do three and then four and then three and then four. And that will actually work. You can just do four single crochet in this chain space as well and then three in the next or you can put that fourth um, single crochet into the single whichever you prefer as long as you have 84 stitches when you finish so you're gonna have your three single crochet corner your three single crochet corner and then 11 singles all the way across so whether you do four three and four or you do four one um, three one three one three it's gonna be the same amount of stitches. So it just depends on what you feel like doing four single crochet in the chain space or one single crochet in the single and then three in the chain space. And here's how it looks with the four, three, four. And you can see you have the corner here and then your four, three, four. And then I'm gonna make my next um, three single crochet corner. And that is, I think how the pattern is written. Um, and I think I did it in the photos the other way, honestly. So you can just pick whichever way you think is better. Just count when you're finished that you have 84 singles. All right, I'm gonna keep going around. 
and I'll show you how it looks with a couple of sides done. And these loopy chain loop round will magically turn into a hexagon once you add your singles there. So here's my corner. I'm gonna lay it down for you. The corner and the other corner. And you can see it looking like a hexagon already. And this is how it looks when it's all the way complete with all of the single crochets around. And in this one, I did put those singles into the stitch. So it has three, one, three, one, three, instead of four, three, four on the sides. So your choice, but that's how I did for this What's the Heather motif from the 2024 DD Cal. I hope you've enjoyed it.